In this video, we're gonna go over what the best seller rank means for Amazon products, why it's important, and how to consistently find the best seller rank and use it to make money if you're thinking about selling items on Amazon. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a free cheat sheet you'll be able to use to consistently find the best seller rank. Best seller rank, AKA BSR for short, is basically how popular a product is in the different categories on Amazon. So Amazon has all sorts of products. They got arts, crafts, and sewing, baby products, beauty and personal care, electronics, home and kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just look at the baby products, for example. So out of the baby products category, there's like 3.2 million products in the baby products category. And out of those 3.2 million products, there are certain products that sell more than others. So on a monthly basis, there are certain products that sell like one, two, three, four, five thousand times a month or more. And then there are certain products in the baby category that sell like four times a month or once a month or once every three months. And the reason this is important, what I do is I want to list items that have a good BSR, that have a good bestseller rank. I want to list items that have a low bestseller rank. Because if it has a low bestseller rank, that means it's going to be a fairly popular product and it's going to sell a lot. I don't want to like find a product and list a product that's going to sell once every two months. I want to find a product and list a product that's going to sell hopefully multiple times a day. So the bestseller rank helps us determine this. So what we can do is we can look up the best seller rank number on the YouTube, on the Amazon products. We can then put it into a sheet and look at it in the sheet and it'll give us what percent the best seller rank is. The lower the number, the better. So if it's in the 1% best seller rank category, that means that if it's got a best seller rank of 1%, that in that specific category, the baby product category, for example, it's got a bestseller rank of 1%, that means that that product sells more than 99% of the products out there. And if we could figure out a way to list that product and make money with it, we know it's gonna have a high chance of selling because it's got such a low BSR. If it's got, if it's got like a BSR of like, you know, 20% or 30% or 50%, those are usually not too good. My my listing strategy is five to 8% bestseller rank max. That's what I go after. Some people go for 10%, but like if you're shooting anywhere from a bestseller rank of 5% to 10%, you're still gonna do pretty good. Those products are still gonna, cons they're going to have consistent sales because even if it's a 10% bestseller rank, that means it's still selling more than 90% of all the other products in that category. So if that seemed a little fuzzy, that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer and we'll look at some bestseller. We'll, we'll look at some products and find the bestseller rank. So this all makes sense. So come on over with me. Let's get to business. So guys, let's go ahead and apply this in real life so you really get an understanding and it'll be easy for you to find the best seller rank. So as you can see in Amazon, we're in the baby category. And you could there's all different categories. We could do baby, we could do clothing, we could do electronics. And there's something we're gonna, you're going to see in about two minutes that's really important that a lot of people make mistakes on. So make sure you pay attention to this. So in the baby category, let's just do enter. And if we scroll down, We'll start seeing baby products right here. And if we open up any of the baby products, now this is like the first product that showed up in the baby product category. So if we open this up, my guess is this is a pretty popular item. If we scroll down though, it'll show us, where is it at? The bestseller rank. So it says it right here, look right here. You see this, it says bestseller rank right here and it says it's number two in baby. It says it's number two in baby. So Amazon does not hide the bestseller rank from us. Remember, Amazon wants us sellers to be successful. So every product in Amazon will have a bestseller rank number and you'll be able to find it. 
And then what we're going to do is we can do two things with this. The first thing we can do is we can use this chart. And we can see this chart has the top, this, any item here is the top 0.5%. Any item here is top 1%, 0.3%. 5%, 10, 25 total. So to make it simple, this was in the baby products. Wasn't it? Let's just check. It says number two in baby. Number two in baby. Number two in baby. So this is baby right here. And this chart says that if it's 16,168 or below. So if it's got a bestseller rank of 16,168 or less, it's in the top 0.5% of the most popular, most sold products in Amazon. This item has got, it was like two, so um, it, it, it falls into this. Now let's look at another one, and I'm going to show you two things that, that, that are like really, really powerful that I don't think too many people kind of understand. So let's, we're in baby, and let's just go to page. Oh, can I not go to pages? Let's type in baby, and let's type in... Let's type in flip-flops. And uh, is it showing us? Oh, let's go to baby. And we'll type in flip-flops under baby. It's showing us all. Let me try this one more time. Maybe I got the wrong setting, guys. I'm not sure. Flip-flops for kids. It might not show in baby. It might be in another category. But let's scroll down here. And let's see, so this is kind of a, this is a good item to do right here. So two things I want you to understand about this that are really, really important. Number one, it of course has a bestseller rank. It has a bestseller rank. Has a bestseller rank of 601,747 in clothes, shoes, and jewelry. This is very important. It'll show you the bestseller rank in the main top category, which is always the one at the top, clothes, shoes, and jewelry. But then see how it says 108 in baby boy sandals and 208 in baby girl sandals. These are like the subcategories. We never use these. We always use the main one. This one is 106,747 in clothes, shoes, and jewelry. So it's not in baby, it's in clothes, shoes, and jewelry. This is a good example though. Let's look at the bestseller rank here. Let's go to our chart. And it's in clothes, shoes, and jewelry. So we're just going to go to our chart. We're going to find clothes, shoes, and jewelry. And it's in, what did it say it had again? 601,000. 601,000. Oh, very interesting. So it's at 601,000. It actually falls in the top 0.5%. The top 0.5% still of, of items. It, and it's interesting because I was thinking that that seems kind of high. It's over 600,000. I was thinking it's going to be 10 or 20%. But you can see the shoes, clothes, and jewelry. The total items it has is 123 million products. 123 million products. Compare that to baby products. Baby products only has 3.2 million. So a higher BSR number in clothes, shoes, and jewelry could still be a pretty good bestseller rank because there's so many products in clothes, shoes, and jewelry. Now, can I share you guys something advanced? Let's say you say, all right, Aaron, that makes sense. It looks like it has a good BSR. But how many actual items is it selling a month? How many items is it selling a month? Well, what we can do is we can take this BSR, and we can go to this other item product right here called Jungle Scout Estimator. Everything for this is going to be linked in the description. The link to this, the link to this chart, so you can literally take it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move everything over. Best seller rank number. We're going to enter it there. Then we're going to select the marketplace. I'm selling in United States of America. It could be. So you want to select your marketplace because it changes. And then we're going to select the category. And the category was clothes, shoes, and jewelry. Then we're going to hit this yellow button that says estimate sales. And it's going to show us the estimated number of sales per month. And it is saying zero right here, which is a little odd. But it's saying zero. So let's make sure we did that right. Yeah, we did that right. So what's interesting to know about this 
is even though this one has a high bestseller rank, even though this is the bestseller rank is under 0.5%, Jungle Scout is saying, let's make sure it's the right, yeah, clothes, jewels, and jewelry, that the estimated number of sales is zero. So this is important because there's a couple different factors. We're, we're, we're looking at the bestseller rank percent, but also the estimated number of sales. Now, if I do this for drop shipping, right? If you guys see the other videos in the channel, you know I make $100,000 a year in profit working about one hour a day on my Amazon drop shipping business. So I would not, I probably, this product is probably live, but if I could list this product, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't want to list it because it's getting zero sales a month. I want something that's getting a lot of sales a month. So let's try to find something that's getting like, you know, decent amount of sales a month. Let's go to baby. And, you know, let's just go to, well, what, I like to sell chair, I like to sell carpets, okay? Carpet. Rug carpet. Rugs. Let's just do rugs. I like to sell, I sell a lot of rugs. I drop ship a lot of rugs. So let's just find one. And uh, so let's see. Let's find one. I mean, I, we just pick a random one, right? So oh, this is a nice, this looks like a nice one right here. So we're going to take this one right here. Now we're going to go through the checks of this. And just as a disclaimer, just because it has a good bestseller rank doesn't mean we should list it. There's a couple other, other, um, other criteria as well but this is one that we need to understand so bestseller rank is 6737 in homes and kitchen notice it's 102 in area rugs but like we covered before we're not going to use area rugs we use the main one home and kitchen 6730 so let's go to i'm just going to type it in home and kitchen this Ours is 6,730, it's well within 0.5%. And remember, for products that I'm listing in my store, I stick with five to 8%. So as long as it's the top five to 8% bestseller rank, that is, it, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to list that. But let's go ahead and dig down a little bit more. Let's close this out. Let's type in, let's move this number, 6,730, let's go to Jungle Scout. We're gonna move that down there. Home and kitchen. Home and kitchen. Estimate number of sales. Wow. Wow. So Jungle Scout says this item gets sold approximately, this is the estimate, but approximately 2,910 times a month. Now, if I was, if this product and the flip flops I looked at before were the same, which one would I wanna list? I would want to list this one with everything else being the same because this is going to sell 2,910 times a month on average. 2,910. Let me divide that by 30. It's going to sell about 97 times a day. The other item is going to sell about zero times a day. So that's why we use bestseller rank. We use bestseller rank to figure out what we do is we do a couple things. The first thing is we can get the percent, right? We can kind of estimate with the percent, how popular it's gonna be. So what my team does that lists items, I have VAs that I've trained, is they find items that are long as it's in, it's either five or 6% in my store. I'd have to check my sheet, but it's no more than 6%. It's gotta be in the top 6% or below. The top 6% or below. Because that means generally it's gonna be a fairly popular product that's gonna sell a lot. Now, as you guys saw with the flip-flops, that's not 100% the case, but it's a good general easy rule to follow and it's easy to find. If we want to get really granular or in more detail, we can then go over to the Jungle Scout Estimator. That's 100% free to use, by the way. We can plug in the bestseller rank, the Amazon market, and the, um, the category that we're in, and it'll tell us the exact number of, uh, uh, of sales and something like this gives us confidence that, okay, if we can be competitive around here and we can list a product that has, that's selling these many items, we're going to get a lot of sales. Because remember, the last thing we want to do is list a product that gets like no sales a month or one sale every three months. You know, it doesn't matter how good the product is or how profitable we could be. 
if it has a bad bestseller rank, if it's going to sell one time a month or one time every two or three months, we're not going to make a lot of money with it. We want to be primarily focusing, at least what I do, is I primarily focus on the items that have a good bestseller rank that sell a lot a month in general. So hopefully you guys got value from this video. Any questions about bestseller rank, feel free to let me know in the comments. And remember, if you're drop shipping on Amazon like me from retailers, it's the bestseller rank is there's a couple other factors we want to we want to be aware of as well but the bestseller rank is definitely one that we need to consider and that we want to pay attention to